We are back in Palu. We are in the Potobo area of the city, which is in the south eastern part of the city. And we are at the top of the, the Potobo landslide. And most of what used to be the, the town, the district of Palu, um, has moved about two kilometres in that direction. Um, uh, and as you can see, there's not much left up here except um, lots of debris. Um, a lot of this area used to be rice paddies, so you can see a lot of what's left of the rice paddies. Um, so, obviously there's been a huge landslide here, and there's a few clues as to what possibly led to the cause of the landslide, and also the mechanism. The first thing is, is we've looked at some of the materials and the headscarf of the landslide up here, and uh, it appears to be quite a consistently a fine sand. Um, there's some finer materials in there but we've taken some samples and we're going to transport them back to the labs in the UK so we can get the, the distribution of grain sizes and we can confirm um, if it is indeed a sand material. So if we find out it is a sand material then we can compare that to um, lots of empirical evidence um, and assess whether this sand material has the potential to liquefy uh, and our current hypothesis is is that the, there has been some flow liquefaction up here and because we're on a slope um, that has led to um, higher than normal shear stresses in the soil so when the soil is liquefied there's been a catastrophic failure of the slope and the flow liquefaction has ultimately led to um, a extremely large translational debris flow uh, which has been very fluid and has moved uh, a long distance. However, at the top of the scarp here, we're also seeing some rotational movement because you can see here some of the back tilting of what used to be the rice paddy field. Um, it, it slumped down and rotated back, so the initial failure mechanism up here um, appears to have had some rotational movement. Um, so, yeah, lots of interesting findings up here in Potobo. One last thing to add, though, is just on top of the landslide scarp here is uh, the irrigation channel uh, that I mentioned earlier in one of my videos. Uh, and it actually terminates um, probably not far from here, probably about uh, 100, 200 metres from here. And so this area has, um, has been saturating and there's a lot of water in the ground and you can clearly see up in the top of the landslide scarp here, um, there's kind of some darker patches and that's actually wet material. So seven weeks after the landslide, there is still water coming out of, of the ground in, in this landslide. So yeah, that's all.